Hello, and welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today, we're going to learn to avoid some important mistakes, so let's get started. First, this is not correct. Hey, can you pass me my mug of coffee? I sealed my finger. When the mug's hot and you burn your finger, you don't actually say burn. You say, I sealed my finger. Don't say I burnt my finger. Say I seared my finger. This is not correct. Say I burnt my finger. Don't say I seared my finger. Burnt is way more common. Let's hear some examples. Yuka, one bread for you. Yes, sir. You okay? You want to keep going? Burnt my fingers, man. Is that toothpaste? Yeah. It's an ancient Chinese remedy for burnt fingers. <laughs> he burned his hand real bad on the car's radiator. Well, he tried, but it burned his hand when he grabbed it. He burned his hand, looked like he burned his stomach, too. My husband, he burned his finger, ma'am. The boy burned his hand by touching an electric wire. So what is seared? Sear is when you burn something so bad that you change the texture. You change the texture of the flesh. That's seared. And it's most commonly used with meat. When you cook meat, we say seared. Seared beef, seared steak, seared fish. Let's hear some examples. Just throw it on the grill, sear it. Fantastic. Put it in the iron pot and seal with a lot of cooking oil. No. Think of seared cod. It's fabulous, isn't it? Dimitri, this is the best seared beef I've ever tasted. You're serving seared tuna. So I can say I seared the steak in the pan or I seared the steak in the oil. Pronunciation, seared, use the ear sound like beer and near, sear, plus the D sound, seared. The steak was seared in the pan. The steak was seared in oil. Let's practice. Was the steak seared in the pan? That's right, the steak was seared in the pan. The idea is you cook the steak and you change the texture of the flesh, of the meat. That's seared. Let's practice. Was the steak seared in oil? That's right, the steak was seared in oil. So if you touch a hot mug, you don't sear your finger, you burn your finger. This is also not correct. I burned my tongue. I singed my tongue. You don't actually say burned, you say Singed. I singed my tongue. Don't say I burnt my tongue. Say I singed my tongue. This is not correct. Say I burnt my tongue. If you drink something hot or eat something hot, you say I burnt my tongue. So what about singe? Singe in the past, singed. This verb is normally used for hair. When you burn hair, we say singe. You singe your hair. Or in the past, you singed your hair. Make the j sound like juice and jump, plus the d, singed. You can singe your hair if you burn your hair. Let's hear some examples. Singed off half my hair. Singed my eyebrows. 20 pounds I paid him. That darn dragon practically singed my beard off. And one of them went off too soon and singed all the hair off my head. <laughs> well, uh, all the hair got singed off my head. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Example. She singed her hair. The idea, she burnt her hair. She singed her hair with the flat iron. That thing she's using to straighten her hair is called a flat iron. Pronunciation, flat iron. We hear the T change to a fast D. Flat iron. Use a flat iron to straighten your hair. And it's hot, so it can singe your hair. And that's what happened. She singed her hair with the flat iron. Let's practice. Did she singe her hair? That's right, she singed her hair. And how did she do it? How did she singe her hair? That's right, she singed her hair with the flat iron. Be careful. So remember, use the word burn in the past, burned or burnt. I burnt my finger on the hot cup, and I burnt my tongue on the hot coffee. Don't say seared and don't say singed. They're used in different ways. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.